What's up guys? If you don't know, my name is Evan. I am a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. And I wanted to come on here briefly and talk about MPHC, D9, Greek stereotypes. I was the number five of my line, only the live can be five. If you know, you know. But I really wanted to get into Greek stereotypes because I hear these stereotypes all the time and um, most of them are, are not true. All right, all right, most of them are, are BS, I'm gonna just be honest. But I wanna talk about them a little bit and see if you guys are hearing pretty much the same thing that I'm hearing. If you're new to my family, make sure you like the video to let me know that you wanna see more content like this. Um, and also subscribe if you are new so you'll be notified when I uh, post a video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm kinda gonna go in order um, just based off of when the organizations were founded. So. First, we got the Alphas. I think I think I'm gonna make a pop up right here. We got the Alphas. All right. Um. So from I don't know about y'all, but from what I've heard, um, and this might just be a region thing, you know what I mean? But from what I've heard, the Alphas are very um, studious. They're very well kept brothers. Um, very smart, I've heard, businessmen. Also, may or may not steal your girl. I mean, that is, that is, that is what I've heard. This, this could, this may or may not be true, I don't know. Um, but me personally, every time I think of an alpha, I think of like one of them skyscraper buildings in like Atlanta and a dude with a suit on just holding like a glass of coffee and like being a manager for some firm. Like, I don't know, I just, I just think of them as uh, really good businessmen, so. Shout out to Alpha Phi. Next, we got the pretty ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Um, so <laughs> I've um, had a lot of friendships with um, ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And um, the stereotypes that I've heard before I get into like what I personally have dealt with, I've heard, of course, the pretty pretty ladies very bougie probably drive a Benz um you know um ladies will probably steal your man when they graduate college definitely somewhere making six figures or doing something big um it's a lot of ladies that are celebrities that are that are K's so um K's definitely be doing their things like I said stereotypes that I heard bougie stuck up light skin um just, just the pretty girl, she's very prissy. They be saying it gives like having a dog like in your purse with a lint roller. <laughs> I've heard it all, man. But from my personal experience um, with the K, she's like my little sister. So um, she's real, really down there. Really, really down there. Not stuck up or bougie at all. So that's definitely just a stereotype. Um, I feel like that might've been a stereotype like back in the day, but now it's just, a lot of the girls that are becoming Ks are legacies anyways. So. Um, that's definitely not the correct stereotype at all. They be real down to earth, at least the ones I've met. Next, we got the brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Um, so things I've heard about the noobs, um, that they're pretty boys, that they pay more attention to their appearance than girls. Um, some people call them the twerkers. Um, <laughs> some people say that they're bougie and stuck up, um, but then some people also say that they're really down to earth brothers. The ones that I've met are pretty cool. Um, I had a really good friend through college that, uh, he's a noob. From my personal experience, real down to earth brothers, um, but I'm just saying what they saying about y'all is that, okay? And I will say that, you know, your girlfriend has probably been with a noob. Your girlfriend's girlfriend's girlfriend probably been with a noob. And your girlfriend's 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 probably been with a noob. So, hey man, they definitely the ladies, man, for sure. Um, <coughs> uh, no said about that. But <laughs> next we got the brothers of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated. The Q Dogs, the Qs, the Bruhs, whatever you want to call them. Um, so. What I've heard about the Q's, stereotypes that I've heard about the Q's are that they are usually big athletes, big, strong, 
huge athletes, um, got muscles on their muscles, muscles on their muscles on their muscles. Um, I've heard that they're aggressive. I heard that they be uh, picking girls up at parties. I mean, I haven't even heard that. I've seen that. Um, so, I mean, I ain't even gonna lie. That kind of, it kind of is true. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. That kind of is true. But and and my thing is with the bros, it's like girls will swear they're so obnoxious and they don't like them and like, oh, I hate the bros. I hate the bros. Are just and then you be at the party with them getting to play the chicken. Like I don't, I never understood that. But hey, hey, man, that, that's beside the point. <laughs> Them the stereotypes that I don't heard about the bros. Um, so hey, man, y'all let me know if y'all think that's true or not. I ain't even gonna say too much because you know how that goes. So I ain't even gonna say too. Next we got the devastating divas of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. So or the Reds, as a lot of people like to call them. That's what I like to call them. Um, so I've heard that people have said things about the Reds. Huh. People be saying they like bullies, they mean girls. Um, they are just mean, they got attitude problems. They're very fierce in your face, uh, will beat you the heck up. I can neither confirm nor deny these allegations. All I will say is um, from the encounters that I've had with the Reds, they were pretty cool. Um, you know, I haven't, I'm really not close with any Reds, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, not at all, actually. Not really. Um, would love to get to know some, but they be minding their business for real. But um, that could be the, that could very well be the case at, at certain schools. You know, like I said, a lot of things are are region based. Um, they might act a certain way, you know, at this school, and then it may be completely different at at another school. So it really just depends, man. But that goes for all orgs. Next, we got the best frat, <laughs> the only. Ch no, I'm playing. So okay, so the brothers of Five Beta Sigma, my brothers, all right. My brother, and it's not even gonna be biased at all. I promise, it's not gonna be biased. Um, but I will say what I've heard about my own frat, and how I know it's not true because I'm in it. You feel me? So, um, so the things that I've heard about my frat is that um, <laughs> a lot of people be saying we like to dance. They be saying we come from all aspects of life, like we're just very well-rounded. We kind of just do it all. Some people will say that, oh, um, why did you choose Sigma? Or like, you know, just, just things insinuating the fact that it's not people's first choice and things like that. A lot of people will be saying they're sassy. Um, a lot of people say that Sigmas are really down to earth, which is, what I got, you know, that's the vibe that I got, which is why I joined. Um, you know, because when I joined, they were really down to earth. Spent time getting to know me just like a regular person. Didn't give me that I'm better than you vibe. And that's what a lot of people have said as well. They've said like, you know, and they call us the people's frat. So a lot of people have said that like we, you know, work well with people and we communicate well with, you know, the in the public eye and, you know, establish a lot of people's personal views on things and we just try to be all around inclusive um i'm i'm not even like that's what i've heard man that's that is that is definitely what i've heard so yeah man that's what i heard about sigmas um oh also they'll say uh the sigmas are the best steppers they always be winning the step shows which is true um that that is very true. I cannot lie. Next, we've got the sweet sisters of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. So um, I had to make sure I said it right this time, because I ever since I've crossed, I'll, I'll slip up and say Zeta. It's not Zeta. It's Zeta. Zeta Phi Beta. All right. I always remember that. But so the sweet sisters of Zeta Phi Beta. Um, the stereotypes is usually like people that say the Zetas, basically the same thing as the Sigmas, like it wasn't their first choice or like, um, 
they'll say they the big girls or they'll try to play them and be like, oh, they sloppy looking or, or things like that, which is not the case. Um, from the Zetas that I've met, I've actually dated one. Uh, she was not fat at all. Um, and, and plus the ones I've met are, are very down to earth. Um, now I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I may be being a little biased towards, towards Zetas, but, um, but, but from the ones I've met, well, of course they were nice to meet, but you know what I'm saying? They, they, from what I've heard, they're cool all around. We'll cook you some good food. I've also heard we'll treat you right. Don't know about that part, <laughs> but we'll cook you some good food for, for sure. Next, we got the pretty poodles of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. So stereotype wise, a lot of people will say like they're usually uh, like bisexual or or uh, studs, if you will. Um, but the poodles that I've met are very cool. Um, don't have any issues with the poodles. Check that monkey for people who don't know who I'm talking about. You know, it might be people who aren't um, connected with Greek life or don't know anything about it. Shake that monkey. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Shake that monkey. That's those are the poodles. Okay, so yeah. But the, as far as the things that I've heard, those are the things I've heard. Um, they also say that. The poodles are very aggressive, they tough, they rough, and they'll beat you up as well, you know, um, just like the Deltas, the Reds. Um, so, yeah, those are those are two sororities that, you know, I would not start no mess with, bro. Right? Don't start none, won't be none, all right? Last but not least, we got the brothers of IOTA Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated. So, um, okay, I'm going to start with personal, um, you know, experience as far as the IOTAs. So, from the IOTAs that I've met, um, when I really, really met some IOTAs, I was up in Maryland, um, uh, actually, and I met an IOTA, and he was cool, bro. He was, like, super, super cool, and I know that, like, they're really more popular up north, um, like Maryland, and stuff. Of course, they were founded at Morgan State, so um, they're real, real cool up there. I know as far as my region, um, they're not really that well known. A lot of people be trying to play them on TikTok and like they'll name all the organizations and then like when they get to IOTAs, they'll put like UPS box and or, or they'll put like a cricket noise or something like, you know, just like just messing with them for real. And um, I will say as far as this region, they could do better with numbers, but like sometimes it ain't about numbers. It's about quality over quantity. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I have nothing bad to say about the IOTAs. Um, very solid brothers. They be about their business, you know. And I'm sure in Maryland, the ladies love the IOTAs, man. So we're even more popular up north, bro. <laughs> Maybe you should go up north. Stereotypes still stand, though. A lot of people would be like, oh, they just... They the uh, UPS men, they be digging all the time. That's all I know about them. And like, well, why don't you get to know them? But these have been MPHC, Greek D9, fraternity and sorority stereotypes. Okay, um, y'all seem to like the Greek content that I've done in the past. So as promised, I will incorporate more Greek content into my channel if y'all wanna see it. Um, that's the only way, you know. So I appreciate all the love that y'all gave me on um, the why I joined Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated video. Really, really appreciate that. So like I said in the beginning, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you know when I post. But you gotta put the post notification bell on so you'll be notified. And also click the like button if you did enjoy this video and you want more Greek content. And with that being said, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.